Okay, guys, welcome to uh, part two of the uh, the highlights, the reviews, the anecdotes, the uh, the, the the diary of my uh, Iron Man experience. Uh, so, first thing to say is um, I completely forgot that Joseph Miger was in the victory display, and he counts because although I didn't personally defeat him, he was defeated. So that's actually two extra victory points. So I'm on six. Um, of course, I saved one thanks to my deja vu getting that um, test of wheel back which is good um i did check uh with uh with uh frank from drawn to the flame about the uh, whether i could play the uh devil's luck from my discard pile and uh, we kind of agreed that no you can't really do that because they both happen at the same time um so what am i gonna do for our upgrade well i know that probably logic dictates i should go for a couple more exile cards but i really want to get both my bows in uh, because I'm just going to be superb once I get those. I do realise that's my hand slots gone, um, so I'll gradually start weeding out the fire axe and the um, what do you call it, the old key ring. But not yet, not yet. They've got a bit more. They've got slightly more legs to go. Uh, so the cards I've decided to get rid of is waylay uh, because I think ornate bow just completely trumps waylay. And last chance. I'm a bit disappointed to see that go, but I'm just looking through my deck and I can't really see anything else I want to get rid of. So there we go. They're, they're, they're gone. Right, so we face the secret name, which uh, is a bit of a bit of a bit of a marathon, a uh, bit of a slog. I think this is going to be tough. Uh, I just want to kind of get out of here alive, to be honest. Uh, I've had a really good start. I'm really pleased with my start. Despite the fact, having watched back the first video, I seem to spend an awful lot of time saying things have taken a serious turn for the worse or uh, or I think uh, things are looking worse than they were a minute ago. So I'm going to try and, uh, gonna try and mix it up in the, the way that I, uh, <laughs> I express how badly things are going. Uh, anyway, oh and the last thing to say is I, it's getting out of hand now how many uh, elder things I've pulled. Um, obviously you just got my word for it. Uh, I could tell you every single elder thing anecdote but uh, you would probably guess how it would have ended. So I'm not going to, let's just say it's happened a ridiculous amount of times. All right, okay, uh, why don't we have a quick look at my starting hand and then I'll then I'll start playing. Here we go, what have I got? Uh, oh, Kim, that is great news. Backstab, yep, backstab from rat, rats. Uh, unexpected courage is always good. Unexpected courage is always good. Uh, and look what I found. Okay, I quite like those. I probably don't need two unexpected courages. Um, I will keep the backstab for an emergency. I got fire axe. Okay, well, what a great, what a great starting hand. Well, it's all uphill from here. All right. Do you know what's just occurred to me? Look what I found. Not that great <laughs> in this in this campaign because of all the haunted uh, effects. But there we go. All right. Well, I'll deal with that as it happens. No joke. No joke. First token. Look at it. This is just, this is just ridiculous. Okay. Brown Jenkins just making his first appearance. We've just had this uh, this card. Uh, funnily enough, he was right at the top of the encounter deck. So he's there. I'm on one clue. I should be able to get another. Should be able to get my two clues now. Uh, I can kill Brown Jenkins hopefully with a fire axe. I've got a couple of uh, unexpected cards in my hand, and then hopefully get that last clue with the old key ring, and then I can move on. Uh, abandoned loan has already hit, and it hit an empty discard pile. Okay, um, not going well. Uh, I've got no cards in my hand. I've just somehow managed to cycle my entire hand. Uh, Brown Jenkins is just wiping out my hand every single bit of turn. I can't seem to kill him. Uh, I've, one thing is I've got a lot of money, so um, we're, we're looking like we're getting close to advancing now. I'm going to engage him, whack him twice with the fire axe. He's on three health now, uh, and hopefully that'll be enough to advance. Really bad news. <laughs> so I managed to get two of these in the um, in the uh, by the agenda, and if I get the third one, I take three horror, which would actually kill me. So yeah, it's not it's not going well. It's not going well, but it's going quickly. So that's, there's there's a, there's a silver lining there. All right, let's, uh, hey, let's, let's do this one on the camera. All right, so I'm going to engage Brown Jenkin. Um, so I've got no cards in my hand. Um, the reason I've got no cards in my hand is because I just got beaten by the app, uh, which makes you discard cards. So it, it kind of doesn't matter here. I've only got two actions always hitting me anyway. So um, I might as well go firstly two and then three. So this is five on two i believe at the moment five on three creatures get plus yeah creatures get plus two fight and um plus two health i mean this is unbelievable and that's a miss isn't it so i'm five on uh, I'm, th I'm two on three so that's a miss oh my god okay great uh and then <laughs> and then 
Um, right, well I might as well save this last one. I know I'm missing out on my two damage, but I'll do the two damage with the two resources that I'll get next turn. This is going horribly. Five on uh, two, five on three, and that is a pass. That's one damage then. Oh my goodness, right, okay. I'll just play on for a little bit, uh, so they're gone. So uh, he, he attacks me. Um, nasty little guy, isn't he? <laughs> I get a card. Uh, it's Peter Sylvester. Uh, I get a resource. It's going to be a while till he hits the table, I'm afraid. Uh, let's see what Mythos card we get. It's Fateful Falls going straight into the... Um, the what do you call it? The uh, the the threat area. Uh, when enemy phase ends, if Brown Jenkins is ready, each investigate. Well, I had no cards in my hand at that point. So here we go. Hit him with the fire axe. This is five on three. Minus four. This is Pete Sylvester to redraw it. And if I don't get this, I actually don't know what I'm going to do. Minus one. Okay, fine. All right. Okay, I'll carry on then. Okay, uh, I don't want to sound negative, but <laughs> Nahab's appeared. Um, uh, yeah, this has, yeah, mm, uh, these aren't clues, by the way. These are just things I'm using to count my, my turns. I guess I could just start chopping her with an axe. Can I kill her in one turn? Oh, I can't even do that, can I? Because she's, she's actually quite hard. She's actually on um, four health, uh, four fight. Um, and yeah, so that's probably not going to happen. Um, yeah, oh, I think I'm going to just evade her. But yeah, this is, this is. I'd quite like to see if I can run out the clock. Uh, that's going to be my plan here and maybe find a victory point somewhere. Uh, but it hasn't gone very well, this one. All right, let's keep going. Oh, wow, how bad's that? Uh, Brown Jenkins is about to just get rid of both of my pairs of track shoes. That's, uh, <laughs> that's not great. Okay, an opportunity has presented itself. Uh, I have three resources and I've got trial by fire and I've got the fire axe. So I could use exactly the same trick I used in the last scenario um, to try and defeat Nahab. So uh, that should work. And then I could possibly use resourceful with one of those tests to get uh, something back, which I'll immediately lose because I've got Brown Jenkins in my uh, location. So maybe I won't do that. But uh, yeah, that is the plan anyway. All right, let me just think about that for a moment. Yeah, that seems to work. She has got four fight and four health. It's not great, is it? But we'll do it anyway. So we're going to play Trial by Fire. Uh, so we're now five against four. Uh, we will commit Resourceful, just for the plus one, just to get a card so we can get it again. So that's six on four. Four, six on four. Oh, by the way, I've got a Doom on Fateful Fool, so we're really running out of the clock now. Six on four, here we go. Uh, yes, that's two damage. Okay, and then for resourceful, uh, I just want to get something back with a with a combat icon. I guess trial by fire will do it. I haven't got anything better than that, have I? Uh, can't, back, can't bring back a resourceful. Uh, oh, last chance, fantastic. <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, okay, and then uh, second action, I'll attack, I'll commit last chance, and I am now one, two, three, four, five, nine on. Oh, good. Uh, skull, minus one. Yes, good. Right, she's gone for the moment, at least. <laughs> uh, and I get a clue for that. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's carry on. Okay, so a bit of good news as this uh, as a scenario comes to a close. Uh, I've discovered the City of the Elder Things, which means hopefully I can get an experience point. Um, but there, I mean, there, there's not really much chance now of me winning this scenario. Uh, I just need to get get through it. My deck cycle, Brown Jenkins has cycled the deck. Um, I'm hanging on to my sanity by a thread. I've got two left. When I hit a band alone again, I'm, I'm out because um, it's direct, so that's a, that's a problem. Uh, but we'll see how it goes, hopefully I can get these. A uh, bit of clever play with what I found, and I might even redraw a past test here to try and make it work. Uh, draw a resource, move in, and uh, investigate. All right, let's do it, let's do it on camera, here we go. So first action, I will uh, go resource, second action, I will move in, third action, I will investigate. So I'm currently five, four on three, no I'm not. I'm three on three, and I want to fail by no more than two. Uh, I suppose I've got to live and learn. I can have four cracks at this, can't I? All right, let's go for it then. So uh, I'm three on three. Looking for a minus two or a minus one. Uh, that's neither. Uh, so I will get rid of backstab. Let's try this again. 
<laughs> so I'm three on uh, three on three again. Uh, that's this is still the first test I'm taking. Skull. Uh, no. Ah, that's minus three. Okay, I forgot that skull was being a bit annoying. All right. So I'll play, live and learn, <laughs> and do it again. Uh, so I'm now. Um, oh my god, what am I? Five. I so I don't. I think this is classed as a separate test, isn't it? Um, for each for each skill test for your skills for the first skill you test before me right okay so my, i'm now up to annoyingly six on three i'm probably gonna pass this now aren't i uh that's a pass <laughs> oh don't am i really going to discard to redraw that yeah i am why not come on, let's do that let's chuck that in this we don't want that we want something worse than that it's actually no, it's silly because there's nothing worse in the bag, is there? Let's just get that clue and hope we last another turn to get another clue. All right, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> hey, look what Brown Jenkins has brought us. Two copies of Unexpected Courage. That's pretty good. So hopefully we'll be able to get that clue and get that victory point. Okay, so uh, yeah, knowledge is power. Uh, I've just put the eighth doom on the witch light and <laughs> it's not the end of the scenario, is it? Um, Nahab's coming back out and she's even less impressed than she was last time. So I think we're going down pretty quickly here, but we'll see, uh, we'll see how it pans out. Okay, there were rats, rats, big as blooming cats. Uh, yeah, I think this is, uh, <laughs> this is it now, isn't it? Um, so I'm just going to do a very tactical move here, which is I am just going to evade both the swarms of rats and let Nahab knock me out through horror because I'm a bit better for horror because I've got Peter Sylvester in my deck. So, uh, in fact, I can just let that happen, can't I? So I'll just take a resource and let her knock me out straight away. Um, that's not being defeatist. It was going to happen anyway, and time time's ticking. There's no more victory points on offer here, <coughs> um, and and no way really through. So yeah, just oh, what a tough scenario. Um, I think this deck could do it if it came up in the right order, but it it, it didn't at all. So um, and I think even if it would come up in an average order, it still would have very much struggled. So there we go. We've been knocked out through damage. Uh, our through horror. Sorry, our first our first chink in the armor. Uh, well, hopefully, hopefully we'll have a nice easy ride on Wages of Sin, but uh, I'm not counting on it. Okay, guys, let's uh, let's set up and we'll see what happens next. Okay, guys, we're back, we're set up, we're ready to go. Uh, what do I want from this one? Um, I would quite like to just try and get uh, one heretic, to be honest. I think that, that unlocks something. Um, you know, there's no way I'm going to get um, all of them. Uh, so one of them will be absolutely fine. Try and get away with no trauma would be nice. A uh, little bit of an update, I've kept the black book, so I've added a skull, um, so I've kept that black book, I quite like that. As an asset, uh, so in terms of my upgrades, I've got three VP, I will be getting Stroke of Luck. I need to start getting my Stroke of Lux ready for the circle tests, and I've decided to get Sharp Vision as well, because it feels like um, cluing is not exactly going well for me, and there's a couple of two clue locations here. Uh, I will be losing the old key ring, um, simply because I've got the black book and I've decided to take out backstab which might seem like an unusual choice but it's quite expensive and I've got the bows I'd rather get bows into play now um, so that's why I'm starting to get rid of some of these items but the, I mean the black book was free so that's a slightly different kettle of fish all right okay uh, not much more to say really um, I've got a terrible hideous record with this scenario absolutely awful um, well I'll just see what I can do to see what I can get out of it uh, and try and get out of there alive would be good wouldn't it one heretic and alive is is well god that would be that'd be a dream come true all right okay let's see how we get on then Okay, so the first part of that has gone relatively smoothly. I've got my three clues. Uh, I'm set up a bit. Um, a bit weird just happened. I just had a, a Coven Initiate turn up. <laughs> the two cards that she discarded were both Coven Initiates, which is it's okay. They're hanging out. They're all right. They're mates. Uh, I'm thinking of keeping her in play. Um, because we all know that an exhausted witch is a, is a resource not to be sniffed at. But I'm going to get ready to advance the uh, act once I've uh, once I've evaded this uh, this coven initiate. Um, and I have got my track shoes, so that's going to be a five on three. Let's do this one on camera. Oh, something I've just noticed, which is really really good news, uh, is that the uh, <laughs> the elder thing is only a minus two this time. Um, which is good because no doubt it will come up hundreds of times. There we go, minus two. So she is evaded and I will advance the act.
<laughs> okay, so I've just advanced, um, put the heretics into play, they, uh, they, they have suddenly appeared, I hope that wasn't too scary. A few clues going on to locations, which has annoyingly um, lost me that uh, victory point again. Uh, but it then says, check your campaign log, if you have three or more mementos, uh, then you can take the spectral rev asset, web, the spec spectral web asset, oh, listen, uh, yeah, sorry about that, and uh, I've now completely forgotten what my three mementos were, I think it's the Gilman Journal, uh ritual components and something else uh but yeah i've got three so i get the spectral web asset which hopefully should make life a little bit easier and now it's just get some uh, get some heretics and then get out of dodge all right catch up in a minute well and i just appreciate how good the spectral web is it means i can fight uh against geist enemies using my willpower instead of my uh, fist which is great news um yeah lovely all right fantastic Okay, I've just moved to this location, the chapel crypt, and I've just looked at the back of this heretic, and this is the one where you have to do a test at a ch chapel crypt, so I've got really, really lucky there. Has cost me a clue, maybe I should have picked up a couple of more clues before I did that, but I'm thinking if I can invade this person, uh, use my spectral web, um, get some extra damage on her and then I'll be ready just to take a test which hopefully I can pass. Uh, the tests are combat and intellect which are not my strong suits but it's definitely doable. I mean I can't, I certainly can't complain about that. So okay I'll push on. Of course I don't need to do that, I didn't need to do the evade because um, she is aloof isn't she because it's no, it's still the uh, spectral location so that's an extra action I've got. Silly me. And now we have a problem, because the Priestess of the Coven has arrived, and of course, her three sisters are in this card bar, so she is absolutely enormous. Uh, and I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I've got a serious, serious problem here. Um, even evasion is going to be tough, however, I feel like that is my only course of action here. But look at that, unbelievable, unbelievable combo by the uh, encounter deck, bravo. Okay, let's see how we get. And of course, I've now just read another one which meant, which said I couldn't collect clues in a non-spectral location. So I did have to use that uh, action to evade the uh, heretic. All right, uh, I think we got there eventually though. All right, so uh, I'm in position. Um, I think I've got one action left. Got a little bit lost there, I'm afraid to say. Um, but we will we will give it a go. We'll see if we can um, beat this heretic next turn because I believe I'm out of actions there. Alrighty, so let's get going. Okay, so it's come together somewhat, so I've just evaded the Priestess of the Coven. I can now spend three clues using my Spectral Web, uh, and that would do the four damage I need to the Heretic. Um, and then I've got a few cards in hand that can help me pass that test. So I'll do this bit on camera, so let me just check I've got this understood. I'm going to spend three clues. Uh, which means I'm using my willpower, which is five. This will go up to eight, so I'm eight against four. And if I hit, I will do four damage. Okay, I kind of like those odds. <laughs> That's, that feels like it should be okay, doesn't it? Uh, here we go. And yeah, plus one. <laughs> okay, fantastic. So it's four damage. So she flips over. Um, or what does it say? Bring me to him. Oh, scary. Keep this card face up. Uh, at the end of the round, you must either take one hole or flip this card back. If you're at the chapel crypt and it has no clues on it, test um, intellect or combat. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do for my final action. I really, 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 really need this to hit. So I'm going to commit uh, trial by fire. So I'm currently five on um, four. That's good, isn't it? Five on four. Yeah, got it, excellent, you are banished. Oh my goodness, there we go, done it. All right, that's the end of that round, so she will wake up. Um, has she just, oh, she's just been defeated, so I have to take it down. Oh, yeah, I've got this punishment thing, which means I have to take a damage, uh, but that's okay, I'll try and get rid of that next turn. All right, we move on with, <sighs> okay, I know this is going fairly well, but, Oh, I've just noticed I, that wasn't spectral either. I've misplayed this one horribly. Um, the only good thing is, I'm pretty sure the shrouds stay the same. Uh, it's just that there's a haunted, and I don't think I failed any um, investigations. Um, so oh, that, that's a shame if I've misplayed that, but I, I honestly don't know. Um, I think my plan is, even though I've had a good start, I think I'm just going to try and get out of here now. I'm going to try and pick up this victory point. Um, I know it seems like a bit of a wasted opportunity, but... Um, 
but yeah, I just want to I just want to get out of here safely. Um, I've already started to get hit a bit hard by the encounter deck. I've had a ghost light go. Uh, is it grave light or ghost light? Grave light. Um, go through both decks now, um, which has which has scared me somewhat. So I think yeah, I think I'm going to make a play for the exit. However boring that might be. Uh, we've got a long way to go. We're only just about to get hit halfway, um, and uh, I've got to be honest, I I love this game, but I don't really enjoy this scenario very much. I find it incredibly difficult. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and uh, try and do that, and I'll, I'll let you know how I get on. Okay, of course the demon's just advanced, which means uh, our old mate has appeared, and uh, so is his rather attractive friend. Um, so yeah, we won't be going anywhere near this side. Ah, uh, maybe I'll play on a little bit. Maybe I'll play on a little bit. Maybe I'll try and get this and just see what happens. But I mean, one clue is not enough. I need three. If I could dance around this guy a bit, uh, which potentially I should be able to because of my agility so high at the moment. Maybe there is a way. All right, I'll play on a little bit longer. Let's see how we do. Let's see, I got this now. <laughs> just join the ornate bow. Uh, this is the start of my turn. I guess I could evade, move in, get a clue. Next turn, get a clue. Yeah, I think there's a way to make this work. I've got a lot of money. I, uh, maybe I should keep going. Let's keep going. Come on, let's give it a go. All right, so I'm going to keep playing. Okay, so I've ended up here and the Spectral Watch has just hit me, which I could take. And then unfortunately I've got this card, which means he hits me again, uh, which kind of puts it in jeopardy. So I'm going to play um, Devil's Luck because I can do that um, without any worry whatsoever. Um, I guess I... I guess I could move in here. Flip, uh, flip her over and see what it is. Oh, is this just no chance? I don't know. Oh, let's go for it. Okay, all right. Okay, I'll do this uh, this turn then. So, trying to evade this guy first. So, I'm on five against three. I've got look what I found in my hand. Uh, that's a zero. That's great. Okay, so, second action, I'm moving to the haunted fields. I'll trigger track shoes. Uh, hang on, this isn't going to work, is it? I'm going to have to take two hits from her. Because uh, I'm going to have to reload. Um, move in and then evade so I don't get hit. And then evade. Shoot. No, it's just going to take ages. I don't think it can be done. Oh, okay. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call it there. I, something's telling me not to do this. So first action was evade. Second action was move in here. Third action was resign. Okay, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. Uh, what did I get? I got two victory points off locations. And I got um, one... Um, one banished, one banished. Uh, just out of interest, what was on the back of this one? Let's have a look. Uh, at the end of your round, you must either take one damage or flip card. If you want the gallows, which was up there, pass the willpower agility. Oh, yeah, I, know, I, could, I probably could have done that. Uh, what else do we have? Let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick nosy. This is the one where you have to be at the heretic's grave. So those two were just like opposite each other. And this one is uh, parlay. If look at this. Uh, which one is this then? Okay, flip this card back to the enemy side. Oh, it makes an immediate attack, and it's the one that attacks if you try and parlay it. I think I've got a bit luck lucky there, my placement. Okay, perfectly happy with that, ready to move on. It's half time. we we'll take a little break for lunch, uh, and yeah, we'll see how we push on. All right, that, that's okay, I'm happy with that. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.